Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Uh, now something pretty cool to show you, something brand new that I got on my island that I haven't quite showed off yet, and also just a little little redstone system go along with it. Um, I'm going to show you guys that right now because it's pretty interesting. Just disregard those blocks over there, that's going to be for a demonstration in a minute. Um, now what we have here is called a mining minion, and normally in Skyblock Sky you can't get mining minions, the only way you get them is I think by paying for them on the store like with real money now I haven't spent any real money on this I actually got this for free from someone as a gift um, but there's sort of like a funny story that goes along with it because we actually got one for free however it glitched out and turned into an iron pickaxe and we were really bummed out because we couldn't get it back because uh, we didn't have any proof of the transaction and like we didn't record us placing it down so you know people can just claim things and scam like that which is completely understandable but we were pretty bummed out that we lost it however one of our friends on the server Dima actually gave this to us for free uh, so huge shout out to him that was really generous uh, so yeah we have a cool little miner minion that uh, can actually mine two blocks at a time instead of one which is pretty dope and I'll show you what I have down here so all the contents from the miner minion go into that chest you can see them filtering in and down here I have a cool little redstone filter that will sort the blocks that they mine. So iron will only go into that chest, gold ore goes into that chest, emeralds, diamonds, and all the way down with lapis, redstone, coal, quartz, endstone, and cobblestone. Now I'm actually going to show you guys how to make one of these because it's really useful for not just miner minions, but iron golem farms as well. If you have an iron golem farm where Obviously they give you iron and poppies, you want to filter out the poppies and only keep the iron. So I'll show you how to make one of these, the redstone for that is in the back, and that's what that little contraption out here is for. So it's not that hard, however you do need to follow the steps exactly in the same order that I do them, otherwise it might not work. So we're just going to start right here, you're going to just put your double chest wherever you want, and you got to keep in mind that you need space behind it, so you can have to mine out one block deep uh, right behind the chest and then you're gonna put two blocks on the same level as the chest just one block away so these two and then one block down you're gonna put another block then you're just gonna mine out right below that block for a little space that's where we're gonna put something so once you've done this sort of shape I'll just give you like this view of it once you've done that sort of shape behind the chest you're ready to start putting the redstone and we're gonna start by getting a redstone comparator just place it like that. It's supposed to be facing that way. So like the triangle shape is going to be facing away from the chest. And you're going to put two redstone dust, one on that block and one on that block. And next you're going to put a redstone repeater. It's going to be facing the chest. So you got to boom, place it like that. The two pegs should be on the left side. That's how you know you've done it correctly. We're not going to touch those pegs either. And next step, just a redstone torch right on that block because it's on the opposite side of the repeater. And next step, which is the last step, you're gonna put one hopper facing right into the comparator and one hopper right into the chest so that we can actually get our items. Now, say theoretically we wanted to filter iron, we're going to put what we want to filter in this top hopper and then it'll do the filtering for us. So how we do it, we just get some iron, we put one iron in the rightmost four slots and then we just put the rest of our iron in the first slot and you'll see it going down but eventually it'll just stay at a specific number I think it'll be like 16 here yeah it seems it'll be 16 and that's how you know it's working correctly if the first slot doesn't go all the way through so we can see the iron filtered into our chest and this is staying full of iron and that first slot has a little bit in it. Looks like my island mate has been checking it out. Um, so how you would make this into a proper system like I have down here is you're going to want to put hoppers running along the top. So I'll just show you real quick. Um, so you have hoppers running along the top which carries the items and these hoppers actually do drop the items into the hoppers if it's the correct item. But all the hoppers need to be facing into each other to the right. So it's, uh, it's like a right-facing hopper system all the way to the end. And 
then it filters when it hits the chest that it wants to deposit in. So if redstone were to come here, I'll actually show you guys real quick. So I'll put redstone in this hopper. I'll just take the coal out. So I'll put redstone in this hopper. It's gonna go in here, but the redstone does not go past that hopper. It'll drop right into this one and go right into the chest. And as you can see, it's working and no redstone has crossed that hopper. So all in all, it's not that bad. It's pretty simple. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on how to do this for an iron golden farm, it's pretty much the same, but I wouldn't mind making one because I literally just built it like a couple days ago with my island mates. So I can do that if you guys really need it. However, it's pretty easy to see how you can make this uh, with an iron golem farm. You just got to set up the filters with iron and then it'll spit out the poppies. So that's pretty much all for today, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little cool little contraption I made. It's really good actually for getting a lot of ores and just selling it, making some money. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.